Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account. Welcome back to the channel. We have a huge SBC potentially coming today in FIFA 21. That is the looked most look forward to SBC I think I've heard about in a while, specifically with the leak of that Renato Sanchez foot birthday SBC that should be coming today. Of course, this is the leak that we've been hearing about. All the leaks have been correct so far. We got Payet yesterday. I want to talk about Foot Birthday Team 2, the crazy market movements that we have had and will continue to have, and just how the rest of the market is going bananas over this promo, right? The brand new promo cards are ridiculously expensive because they have crazy stats. They're, as uh, Zwayback would say, jacked to the max. Um, in terms of the hype and the stats that these cards have and how good they are in game. We've got a tall like extinct at 750k. We've got an Adama card that's 1.7 million coins, the most expensive card in this promo. Uh, we've got a Kent card, right? So everything is nuts, right? Everything is crazy right now. And this Renato SBC is about to make it even get crazier. So I want to talk about the card that we could see today as the Renato Sanchez uh, foot birthday item, what that could be, how much it could be costing, and um, also how I think the market's going to react to it because I do think there is going to be a crazy amount of market movements related to this card. So first of all, I want to take a look at a concept card of how this Renato could look. I hope they give him the five-star skills instead of the weak foot upgrade, but this is just a concept from ATI Foot on Twitter. Just imagine this card with these stats today, right? This could be in Sane. Everybody's been talking about this with how OP this card is in game. Uh, it just kind of fits what EA is going for with this promo idea, by the way. Adama, Awar, Atal, like Kent, all these guys that are in team two are like kind of the rat, you know, kind of the rat player type and player build um, that has been in FIFA in this year and the, in the last year too, like with Kent and Adama. So let's talk about this Renato though. We are already starting to see people prepare for this by panic selling other versions of Renato. This card was 450k earlier today. He is down from 450 down to about 393. I honestly think this is probably going to keep dropping into the morning. Now I will say, depending on how expensive Renato is today, this card could bounce back. So just kind of keep an eye on that. There could be a bounce back because the League One is making a return, right? With the cards that EA dropped today with Atal, with Awar, the Payet SBC, you know, there's some nice strong links you can have there. I think EA is kind of pushing the League One again. They just kind of pushed Bundesliga and the German links. Now it seems like we're maybe moving into League One a little bit with, with a few of these SBCs and promo cards that we have had released. So just to kind of point that out, I think Renato Sanchez today, if he does get a card, it's like 88 or 89 rated. They could easily price point that SBC around, you know, 800k to 1.2 million coins. I really think it could be in that range. Now, all the SBCs, for the most part, for this promo, have been pretty decently priced. Like, you take a look at, you know, guys from Ozil and Podolski, you know, Palacio at 180k right now because fodder has dropped a little bit. Mangala, you know, not so much. Vidal, right? 500k SBC. People went bananas for this card. Imagine what people are going to do for Renato today. Marco Royce at 500k, technically the most expensive uh, foot birthday SBC that we have had so far. And how many people have crafted him with player picks? A ton, right? Payette today was 200k. So I honestly think that since all these SBCs have been decently priced, they could still decently price Renato today. And that would take this market for a loop. I think you're going to see panic selling across the entire game as we head into 6 p.m. UK today on Saturday. You know, I flipped a few cards. I, you know, we made a lot of profit yesterday on the foot birthdays and we'll talk about that. But I honestly think these foot birthdays could have a small rise. The new ones could have a small rise into the day today. But on a lot of stuff, I honestly feel like you could still see a lot of panic selling because the reason why we saw some prices drop yesterday was that people saw team two a foot birthday and they said, screw my team. I'm going to sell it and go do player picks and try to pack some of these cards. That's why you saw a lot of cards yesterday drop on the market in value. Like some of these cards, you know, the Saka future stars. Now I know we had Ryan Kent and we had a lot of uh, a tall as well. So we had a couple right mids that were in the new team that were very hyped. This guy went from 1.6 million coins all the way down to the low one threes. Now he's rebounded back up to 1.4 but still, crazy panic selling and crazy selling on cards across this game. Kamavinga was down a bunch because of Awar. You know, we were looking at even just some random cards like Messi, team of the group stage, went from 1.25 mil all the way down to about 1.1 flat. Now, he's almost back up to like 1.17, I think, 1.16. 
uh, is this mess. You won eight actually, but um, you know, you see, you saw a lot of panic selling, and that was because people went out and did player picks for this new team too. Now, of course, player picks are out for one more day, so you have one. 24 hour period for this Renato SBC being out with the player picks. So people are really going to try to craft player picks again, I think today on Saturday uh, um, to get that fodder in their clubs. Now people have invested in fodder too. Now I also want to take a look at the index and take a look at some of the cheapest players by rating because what's going to happen with this stuff today. Now I think people were buying some of the stuff yesterday. It's still kind of, you know, just chilling around that price where it has been in the past, you know, 24 hours, right? After Thursday, after there was panic selling, after the party bag SBC, you still got these 86s at 26, 27,000 coins. The 87s are at 36, 37. The 88s are at 47 and the 89s are at 60. So if Renato today does require like an 88 rated squad, 87 rated squad, I really don't know how high this this fodder is going to go because so many people have invested and they've done player picks and they have things in their club and they're prepared for Renato. So I did a club stock earlier this week. I bought some high range stuff. I wasn't really buying that for it to go up today. I was buying that for a later SBC, maybe in the next week or so, like an icon upgrade or something like that, that people would maybe not be as much prepared for as they would be with this Renato. So could fodder go up today if Renato is really good value and a ton of people do him? Yes, it 100% could, but I don't think I see that happening like as a sure thing, because again, there's a lot of people that have invested in that fodder. We'll probably have more lightning rounds today and more supply on this game. So again, the Renato SBC is the main point that I want to talk about today because it is going to impact the market more. I think I just clicked on the store for some reason, uh, but I think these new foot birthday items might have a rise into the morning hours just a little bit. You know, I'm keeping an eye on some of these that have dropped off tonight. I bought Tamori at 895 on the live stream earlier today after the second lightning round. I think right now he's 900K uh, and he's rising, right? He's 900,000 coins. He was like 860 earlier. And look how rare he is, man. He's only got this one page of cards all the way up uh, to about 960K. So I do think these cards might fluctuate up a little bit. I was watching Kent as well. I'm kind of late to the party. Um, these guys have already started to go up, but Kent was down at like 815,000 coins. I'll take that. I would love a Ryan Kent at 800K. We move because this might be 900K yet in the morning. So I'm going to take a flip there on Kent and try to flip that at 900,000 coins into the morning today on the UK time frame because I do think these cards could bounce back up a little bit um, and then probably start sliding back down again with this Renato coming out. I do think you will see panic selling across the entire market today. First team for birthday cards, other out of pack specials, icons, almost everything. I think you're going to see some panic selling on because people are really going to be interested in seeing what this Renato is priced at and how much that he is. Now, depending on the panic selling today, you're probably going to see some of that bounce back. So just keep an eye on some of these cards again, because I do think you will see some items bounce back because there's just going to be you know, there's just going to be too much selling ahead of time because there's so much hype for this SBC. So I'd be a little bit careful with that, uh, especially on the brand new full birthday cards. If you see a lot of selling on these pre 6 p.m. content today, because of course people will be thinking about Renato coming out and the lightning rounds. Just be careful with these because, you know, a guy like Adama or Sterling, they're not going to get supplied that much during lightning rounds. And people are still going to want to try them out and use them because they're very, very hyped up, especially Adama and Kent and stuff like that. So those guys probably could bounce up after 6 p.m. Uh, as people go out and want to try finishing their weekend league games and trying out these brand new football birthday cards that they hear are very hyped. So just keep an eye out for that sort of stuff on the market. Watch out for League One specials as well. If people are doing Renato, uh, you'll see a panic selling and then a bit of a buyback later into the day. That's It's going to be crazy moves today. If Renato does come out and he's really, really, really good value, or even if he's not good value, there's just... I think if Renato comes out today, which he should be coming out because that's the leak and the leaks have been correct, that you're going to see people just sell all their stuff, start doing player picks. And it's going to be basically what we saw yesterday on the market on Friday, kind of all over again today, but maybe even more because you had the weekly sell off later in the day on Saturday, starting to get involved with that. And Renato just has a lot more hype than what Payette did yesterday. And, you know, this new team is out. So people are trying to pack those cards. But now they know they can get SBC fodder to do Renato you're going to see a ton, a ton of hype for that SPC today if it does come out. So 
that's kind of the market movements I think, I think you could see with that as well. The panic selling on this card, I do think it could bounce back depending on how much his SBC is. Um, and regardless of what the SBC is today, I do think some people will just do it because it's Renato. It's going to be an insane cracked card and that'll be that. But I do want to talk about, again, some of the movements with these foot birthdays, right? I'm glad that I went to trade with the new promo cards, just like we saw with Team 1. These guys fluctuated a ton. Now, I lost a little bit on these Paulinos. He didn't have as much hype, um, but I bought this Tamori at 890,000 coins yesterday during the second lightning round, sold it for 1.05, and I bought this at Tall for 597. Now, of course, looking back, it's like, yo, why do you sell the at Tall? Because now he is crazy, crazy uh, hyped up. But I do think some of these cards could rise back into the day today. I'm watching Tamori very closely because he is still semi-low in my opinion, but a lot of these cards have started bouncing up. Again, Kent is that, I got that snipe, which was really good, um, but he's probably going to be on his way closer to 900K, I would think, at some point this morning uh, before maybe you start to see some people selling some of these cards uh, because they're preparing for the big Renato SBC. So that's going to be an interesting watch to see if these cards do rebound at all. If there's a, there's hype there. There was so much hype last night and these cards are a lot more rare than Team 1. I do think you will see some of those rebounds happen on the market this morning into the morning as people wake up and want to buy teams and stuff like that. So those are kind of my thoughts on the full birthday cards. We talked about SBC fodder. Now for the rest of the market, again, it's just kind of be kind of a mixed bag. Like what is going to happen today with the Renato coming out? What is that going to do to the game? Um, and just the amount of hype there's going to be on the player picks and stuff. Now I want to see if some of these um, moments icons rebounded back today at all. Figo is 1-6. Okay. So there's a little bit of a bounce back on that card at least. Uh, let me check on like Hugo Sanchez. How much is he? One four, one five. So, you know, some of these prime icon moments maybe bounce back a little bit after they got supplied, like some of the market did, some of the out of packs market, and just some of these really meta uh, cards and stuff bounced back a little bit last night. Like the free St. Maximum that I got bounced back a little bit, but not much. You know, you might see some of that continue into the day today, but if you have out of pack specials cards that went up, um, people are really going to drain a lot of coins away today. And I think that just there's going to be a lot of selling that happens today and that's the biggest thing that i'm worried about is that selling and what's going to happen and just the hype around renato sanchez because i really really feel like there's going to be a lot of hype now we have not seen that sbc yet for the 83 to 89 upgrade that could be something ea may be released today as well um to make e it easier to do the Renato when he does come out. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, but of course, this is the one everybody's going to be doing, the 81 plus player picks. Now we did get Inacho and Benzema yesterday. This to me, in my opinion, if you're going to do Renato, if he does have high rated squads, if you're doing player picks, this Benzema is pretty easy to do. About 180, 190,000 coins with an 83 and 85 rated squad uh, to do this. Very craftable, 94 rated you know, usable card, semi-usable card in game. And also this is probably the best value 94 rated card you're going to see until team of the season. So not a bad card by any means, but this Indianacho is very overpriced, not good value at all. 210, 215K for this card. You know, maybe if they would have upgraded his skills in a weak foot, kind of what they're doing with this foot birthday promo, then it might be interesting, but I really just don't know. Um, I don't know why they price it there. Prem tax, I guess you could say, which was very interesting for that matter. But I just wanted to make this video today, man, because I think Renato is going to go bananas on the market today. I think it's going to go crazy. Everybody's going to want that card once they see the stats and they're going to do whatever they have to do to go and get him. So I do see a lot of prices probably dropping today. It might be a crazy day of weekly sell-off. And of course, once people get Renato done, they're going to try to link him up with cards. So if there's any link investments or maybe even some of your Portuguese icons, maybe your Bruno Fernandez cards, maybe your Joao Felix, you know, just keep an eye on those because some of those Portuguese links could resurface. Maybe Cristiano Ronaldo special cards too could resurface a little bit if Renato does get in, along with like Atal, Ben Yedder, you know, the AOR cards, other League One specials that are pretty hyped in this game. Now, I want to make one quick note. We basically figured out who the Foot 19 SBC is because right away the content dropped today, EA had a Valencia logo there. They took the screen away. They swapped it with Atletico Madrid. Funnily enough, we think we know who this is. Condogbia was on Valencia in FIFA 19, and he obviously got transferred and actually changed nationalities 
at the to the Atletico Madrid team. So EA kind of leaked their own card in a sense for foot 19. So that was kind of interesting yesterday when they did the content drop. And then of course for foot 18 on Sunday, we're going to be expecting Eric Bailly as the SBC to come out. So that was kind of an uh, you know a quite interesting thing that we saw play out today. So I'm going to take that Kent that I just got and try to flip that into the morning. You know, if you have cards that are very high in price that are out of pack specials, again, I honestly might take the cash because these cards, um, these brand new ones coming into the game today, you know, if we take a look at this Adama Traore, this, this card is getting insane reviews right now. 1.7 mil for this card is nuts, but five-star skills, high-low, 98 strength with the pace, the agility, the balance that this card has. Uh, I, I, this guy has to be absolutely incredible in game and I want no part to do with that card. So yeah, these cards are very expensive. They're probably going to drop off the ones that are in packs. You know, they're going to get supplied a little bit during lightning rounds today. Uh, and we'll see some market movements with these, but a lot of hype for these brand new cards. They are very rare because there were again, less saved up packs and only lightning round supply means less of these cards actually on the market, which makes it interesting uh, to see them. So let me know down below which of these new foot birthday cards is your favorite. There are some cool ones in here, right? If we look at the squad, I think that we can say this foot birthday two squad is better than team one. I think we can say that um, not just from like a meta perspective, but just from like who they boosted and how cool it is, right? I just feel like the cool factor for these cards is here, right? The Atal, the five-star, five-star is nuts. The Adama, okay, whatever. The Kent, all right, that's kind of like a play on, you know, FIFA 20, the rat, you know, uh, gameplay mentality. Sterling, though, looks really cracked. Awar is going to be nuts. Modric looks really cool. Gunter is a much-needed much needed left back in the Bundesliga. Tamori looks pretty dope. Even Bernardeschi, five-star, five-star Bernardeschi. I know he may not feel insane in game with his height and his body type and stuff, but 100k for a five-star, five-star center attacking mid with Ronaldo links is dope. Paulinho looks pretty cracked. And honestly, like the worst card in this team for me is this Chan, dude. 71 acceleration. You know, he looks like an absolute tank, but he's probably going to play like a truck in game. So I don't know. I think team two is more hyped in my opinion than team one. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to show what their prices as well, because these guys are definitely a bit more expensive than Team 1. We've got two cards at 1.7 mil apiece in Sterling and Adama, and we've got Awar over a mil. Uh, of course, we've got Tamori extinct at 900, or sorry, not extinct, but he's around 900k. Atal is extinct at 750, and Kent is like 800 900k. So a lot more expensive Team 2, but I think that's just because it's more hype more people want to get involved with it. So again, the big boy today is this Renato Sanchez SBC. I think there's more panic selling in store. I honestly think you're going to see prices dropping across the market if this card is reasonably, reasonably priced as an SBC. And even if it's not reasonable, people are still going to do it because the card's going to look nuts and they know that it's going to be insane in game. So I'm just kind of ready for the madness that this is going to bring out today inside of FIFA. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.